Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow hi guys assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well so as you can see we had some heavy snow last week in manchester and look at that it looks so beautiful i was just saying to my husband this is when we were taking our children to school to drop them off and i was saying look at the beauty of allah's creation just a couple of weeks ago we had autumn we had all the trees in orange yellow colors leaves everywhere on the floor and now everything is just white covered in snow so it's just if we look we can see allah's miracles everywhere and how can we even not believe in allah because the proof is everywhere if we look so anyway i was just so mesmerized with the view and little things like that really makes me think and i'm usually in awe of allah's beauty and his power and later on here in the evening i was um, going to my mum's house because it was my niece's birthday and it was also my nephew's birthday a couple of days ago so i'm sharing both of the birthday vlogs in this video there wasn't a party or anything we just um went over to drop some gifts off so here we are my niece sadika this is the birthday girl so just she's just opening the present that i just took for her and it's the dress and saki was helping her there to take it out so there it is, um, Sakiba's got the same one and I told her to wear hers but she said it's going to be too much for a birthday party so she didn't want to wear it. Instead she wore the Asian dress that my mum bought her a while ago. And here we've got the cakes ready. My niece is going to be 11. So please make dua for her. May Allah grant her a long, healthy life and on Allah's path as well. So we've got two cakes there. Um, my sister-in-law, Reba, made. Um, so she's just cutting it up here. We're fed up of having cakes all the time. Now it's just nice to have something different. So she made this cake that was different and it was delicious and um, like I said before we don't really celebrate birthday but it's just family getting together uh, whoever wants to come comes and we just have a few hours of family time and the children also enjoy it as well they get a chance to play with their cousins and it's just a good excuse to get together really and um so I only went to the birthday for these two, my niece and nephews, but I've actually got seven nieces and nephews birthday in November, mashallah, um, but they're all like over 16, so I don't really celebrate their birthdays anymore. Uh, I just concentrate on the little ones now because they're the ones who look forward to the most and in school, the teachers and the children talk about it and they don't really understand when we say we're not going to celebrate birthday. Um, so once they get older, we try to tell them the Islamic perspective. Just to make it clear, not that there's anything wrong with celebrating birthdays, but I think sometimes you just get at a point where you just want a simple life and not many things to worry about. <coughs> So this
this is when my newly married niece came over to see my mom, and we all got together and we sat down and ate together, which was really nice. And the food was really delicious as well. So thank you to Reba and my brother for making this amazing meal. Um, sometimes I prefer having snack type of meals rather than rice and curry. So it was a really nice change. So we finished the meal with some desserts and this is um, the birthday of Alamin and this is his third birthday. So as you can see, my um, sister-in-law Reba made a jelly cake for him because all the children were fed up of having sponge cake by that time so they were really happy to see the jelly cake and um, so as usual Yamin went, Yamin went over because he thought it was his birthday as well and he really enjoys cutting the cake so now they've both done their part and my sister-in-law is plating up the jelly for the children. So just want to say, please make dua for my niece and nephew and all my nieces and nephews and my family actually for long, healthy life and pious life. So anyway, the children are here playing with the toy that Alamin got. So they're just putting it together. And these are the things that I enjoy most watching when children enjoy it themselves and even little things makes them so happy. So this was the next day I need to cook. So I've got this lovely mullah that my mom bought me. Um, and I'm going to make some fish fry um, and I'm cooking especially for my brother-in-law here because he's going to Portugal so I'm just making some uh, dishes for him that he's going to be eating for the last time so here for the fish fry I've added in some salt some turmeric powder um, so I've washed the fish thoroughly and dried it. So here I've also added some uh, chili powder. And then finally I'm going to add some oil and then I'm going to rub the spices in in the fish really well. And I'm going to leave it to marinate for about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is a fish masala, raduni fish masala that I used in the fish as well. So I'm only adding in about two te teaspoons. And here I'm making lamb buna, so I'm going to show you how I'm making this lamb. I'm making it slightly differently than I usually do. So here I've added in the salt in the lamb that I'm going to be cooking. So I think I've added about um, a tablespoon of salt. And then I'm adding in the turmeric powder, one teaspoon. And I'm also adding in the mixed powder that I made at home. So I'm adding about four tablespoons of that and then I'm going to give it a good mix and then I'm going to be using this raduni meat curry masala as well so I use both actually I don't use a full packet because I usually use my own homemade um, mixed powder as well so I'm going to add in about uh, three tablespoon of that I don't really measure anything I usually eyeball everything but just to make it easier for you guys, I'm telling you how much of each ingredient I've put in. So here I've added in two teaspoon of chili powder as well. Here I'm adding in the oil as well. And then I'm going to give it a good mix. So I marinated the meat for another 10-15 minutes. 
um, because I didn't have much time. So I thought it was better than nothing. And then here I've started cooking now. So I've added in the ginger, garlic, a little bit more of oil and um, onion. And then I'm adding in the marinated lamb that I had. And then I'm going to cook it for about half an hour on low gas. Um, so I've also added in the bay leaf, cinnamon stick and cardamom pods. So if you haven't tried making your lamb this way, give it a try and let me know if you like it. I really like it sometimes because um, having it the same way, it gets boring. And here I've started frying the uh, gualmas because I'm making uh, biranmas and also some eggs as well. And here I'm making some holiza biryani. This is the first time I'm, ma I'm making it actually. Um, my sakiba really likes holja and I do as well, so I thought I'd make biryani out of it. So here I've just um, fried the rice in ghee and then I've added the rice in the curry that I made with the holiza. And I'm just going to add in the water and let that cook. So let me know if you've tried this holiza biryani, pola, whatever you want to call it. This is the first time I tried it and I quite liked it actually. It was really nice. And here's the final look. This is how my fulao came out. And here is my lambuna. So it's done now. I cooked it on slow gas. And the lamb must be really tender now. And I've added in the water. So this is it, guys. I've come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, as usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. And until my next video, take care. Please make dua for me and my family. I will do the same for yours. Until my next video, take care. Assalamu